Hi guys, welcome to Iconta. Today we will do percentage. We will start with percentage like after ratio as promised. I have come with percentage and this is like the arithmetic playlist and we will try to cover everything in arithmetic and please understand like we will do it like as rigorously as possible and please uh, keep on uh, like reacting and like please keep watching and please uh, let me let us know like what exactly you like and what exactly you want also. So let's start with percentage. Um, like introduction to percentage, like what is percentage? First, we need to learn what is percentage. So whenever we are saying A percent of B, what does it mean? What is basically percentage? Percentage when we are having something in respect to 100. Let's say if I say about like uh, the population, uh, like 1,23,570 people out of 8,7,097 people is uh, uh, ill basically. So whenever we are saying these type of things, the problem what happens here is basically we cannot figure it out like what kind of proportion we are talking about. But if I say like this is one, 25% people are basically engaged with each other. That means we can say 25 people are engaged. You understand me. So we can see it in, we, we have envisioned it. We can see in our mind like what kind of structure we have and what exactly it means. And if you do it very less also, like if you do it for 10 also, then it is a lot of fraction. But 100 is something which is we are very easy to handle. So that's why percent is so important because it gives you a so much idea about uh, population, about growth, about everything. That's why we try to convert everything in percentage. And that's the importance of it. So the next uh, is like how we basically calculate percentage. Uh, let's think about thing like let's I need to find a percent of B percent of B. So let's me uh, say like I need to find a percent of B percent a percent of B let's say. So in case of a percent of B. Now what does it mean a percent of B percent a percent is a upon 100 of is multiplication and B is like this only. So if I say 20% of 200, what does it mean? That is 20 upon 100 into 200. Am I clear? Which is basically 40. Similarly, if I say 20% of 30% of 500, let's say. Now remember 20% of 30% of 500 is also same as 30% of 20% of 500 because both will give you the same values because the first case in case of 30% on 20% if we say 500 so this is nothing but 20 upon 100 into 30 upon 100 into 500. So if you multiply this fast or this fast it won't make any difference and what is the value of this so 20% of 500 is basically 100. And what is 30% of 100, which is 30. So your answer is 30. So you can solve it as fast as possible. So this is the concept of basic like introduction to percentage, concept of basic percentage. Now similarly understand another thing also, which is also very important while you try to solve questions and all these things also. This is A percent of B is always same as B percent of A. Always remember that. A percent of B is same as B percent of A. And it is also said that if A percent of B is same as B percent of C, that implies A equals to C. Very, very crucial. And think about it like how we can uh, convert hundreds in case of percentage. Let's say the number is 250. So I can say 100 percent is nothing but 250. So what is 10 percent? 10 percent is 25. What is 1 percent? That is 2.5. Let's say I have told you 20% is 190. That means what is 2%? 19. What is 200%? That is 1900. So understand in case of zeros, in case of I am making 10, 100, 1000 or I am making 2, 20, 200. So we just need to change the decimal position. If I am changing the decimal position, I can directly get the values. And that's why it is very important like how we get directly the values just by changing the position. And please remember like all of these things we can do it mentally also because we have to do it mentally in some ways or other. Like well, let's say we need to know like what is 20%, what is one fifth, what is one sixth and that's where how we can find these things very faster. Let's say this kind of question if I ask like 30% or 40% of 400 let's say. So first you need to find 40% of 400 right. So 40 what is 10% of 400 it is 40. So what is 40% it is 40 into 4 160. Now what is 10% of 160 that is 16. What is 30% 16 into 3 that is 48. 
So this is how you can do this kind of questions. Do you understand like how I can do it mentally? And this has also been shown in your screen as well. So please understand like what exactly we are doing while mentally solving this type of things. We will do it again more also. So the next is basically, uh, let's give some examples. So 9000% minus 900% plus the divide this thing. So first you need to do this thing. This is basically a division because by board mass, division has to come first. So then that is 9000 minus 900 divided by 90. What is it? 10 plus 9. So your answer is 8 triple 9. Right? So hence your answer is 8 triple 9 percent. It's as simple as this. Right? Am I clear? Next is 30 percent or 40 percent. Now what is 30 percent or 40 percent? 10 percent or 40 percent is 4. So 30 percent or 40 percent will be 12. So either you can do like this or you can do 30 by 100 into 40. That is percent. So it is basically 12 percent is equal to x plus 1 percent. So what is x? 11 percent. So hence your answer is 11%. Or you can do also like this way, 30% of 40 is basically 12. So it is same as 12%. So 12% is X plus 1%. What is X then? 11%. So anyway, you can solve this type of question. This is like a very basic kind of percentage, like how we can use percentage in this kind of things. So in the next case, we will start discussing some questions also, like on based on the basic percentage. So remember one thing, whatever we are doing right now, this is on basic percentage. Now, during an election, this is a bigger question, 70% of the people who polled said that they would vote for Mr. X. And of those who said that they only, they, of those who said that, only 60% actually voted for X. Clear? Out of those who did not say they would vote for Mr. X, 70% actually voted for X. What percent of the those who polled did vote for X? So the question is basically like this, like during this election, what is basically happening? In this election, like basically the poll election, some people said we will vote for X and out of them some people voted, some people not. Some people didn't say it, but out of them also some people voted. You need to find a total percent of people who actually, who actually voted for that particular party. So this is the question. Now to solve this type of question, the first you need to say, like let's say the total population is 100. Remember, we can start with assuming anything in percentage. So the easiest way to assume is 100. And how many people said they will vote for X? That is like 60% actually, so they would vote for. So how 70% said they would vote for X. So 70%, but 70 people said they will vote for X, said. And 30 said they will not vote for X. Okay, X vote, not vote for X. 30. Now out of 70 people, how many people voted for X? That is X percent. So voted for X is 60% of 70. Now 60% of 70 is how much? What is 10% of 77? So 60% of 70 is 42. Or you can solve it directly also. What is 60% of 70? So if 42 voted for X. So how many didn't vote for X? Didn't vote for X is basically 70 minus 42, which is 18, which I don't need to find also. Now, out of the people who said didn't vote for X, out of them, 70% also voted for X. That is 70% of 70% of 30. That means 21 voted for X. So they are basically voted for X, 21. So this 21 voted for X, this 42 voted for X. So what is the total? 42 plus 21, which is 63. So 63% of people actually voted for X. So how many people voted for X? That is 63 people out of 100. And what is the meaning of this? That is 63% of people actually voted for X. So this is like how we can solve this type of question. I hope you are understanding what I'm trying to solve basically. Due to 30% reduction in cost, a man can buy 15 more eggs. What is the number of eggs he used to buy previously? So think about it. Let's say he bought man eggs for 100 rupees. Now, what is the reduction in price? The reduction is price is rupees 30, right? So in 30 rupees, he can buy 15 mangoes. In 30 rupees, he can buy 15 mangoes. In 30 rupees, how many mangoes he can buy? 15. 30 rupees, 15 mangoes. In 30 rupees, he can buy 15 mangoes. That means each mango will cost him rupees 30 upon 15, which is 2. And in 100 rupees, he can buy how many mangoes? Half of it, 50 mangoes, right? Because in 30 rupees, he can buy 15. But all of this thing is done now, not before. It's now, right? 
so in now in 30 rupees you can buy 15 now in 2 rupees you can buy 1 now in 100 rupees you can buy 50 if now he can buy 50 mangoes in 100 rupees previously he used to buy 15 less not mangoes basically it is eggs i'm sorry now he can buy 50 eggs in 100 rupees and previously he used to buy 15 less because now he bought 15 more so previously he bought 15 less right now if he bought previously 15 less so how many he bought previously 50 minus 15 your answer is 35 so hence your answer is 35 Look how simple these questions become whenever we start solving this question just by taking these values and please understand like taking this value is very important and this is how you can solve these questions very fast. Like you can solve all these questions by taking X also but I always prefer not to take X's too many because you know like you need to get over your X sometime or soon. So yes, um, so that's why also like uh, you have like the algebraical X as well for the last 10 years. So now you need to get out of it. You need to get out of it to make something like very easy and understandable methods. So let's go for the next question. So this is percentage to fraction and fraction to percentage conversion. Please that thing is on your screen. Uh, so in this case, what you need to remember, like you need to remember how you remember that is important. So the remembers, the first thing you need to understand half is same as 50% and 1 by 5 you remember, 1 upon 6 is also you remember because 1 upon 6 is nothing but 1.66667 because 1 upon 6 is, 1 upon 6 is this one so 1 by 6 is, let's write this one then 0. 0.666, just write like this 1 upon 7, 7 double is, 7 is 14, 14 is 28 7 double is 14, 14 double is 28. 1 upon 8 is half of 1 upon 4, so 12.5. 1 upon 9, it is symmetrical, it is 11.11. 1 upon 11 is symmetrical, 0 0.9, 0 0.9. 1 upon 12 is half of 1 upon 16. So 16.6 half is 8.33. 1 upon 13, you need to remember, this is 7.7% or it can say 7.69%. And it is also easy to remember because of the familiarity of the number. Yes, I hope you understand. Next is 1 upon 14 is 7.14%. Half of 1 upon 7, 1 upon 15 you can remember. The most things you need to remember is 1 upon 17. So it's 1 upon 17 is nothing but 5.88%. 1 upon 18 you have to remember. 5.55 or you can say like exactly 5.56% also. And 1 upon 19 is 5.26%. And the remaining this thing you can remember. 1 upon 20 is 5%. 1 upon 25 is 4%. 1 upon 30 is 3.33. 1 upon 40 and 1 upon 50. This is simple. So there is like nothing. So but you have to remember this thing. Because this is very important to learn. And we also learned it in speed maths as well. Like this thing we have to remember while solving questions. So let's think about something. About like comparison between values. Like if I say x is what percent more than y. So what we will do x minus y upon y. We will do x minus y upon y because y is your base. So if I am saying x is what percent more than y, so your base will be y because I am comparing x in terms of y. So that is x minus y upon y into 100. Remember, y becomes your base and it is x more than y. So the example is also there, 30 is what percent more than 25. That is 30 minus 25 upon 25 into 100 which is 20%. Similarly, if I say x is what percent less than y, in that case, what I need to do? Y minus X. Why Y minus X? Because Y is more than X and it is basically being less. And again, in the denominator, it has to be Y because we are comparing everything with Y. Whatever the thing we are basically comparing, that comes in denominator. That's why Y comes in denominator. So similarly, if I say 25 is what percent less than 30? So 30 minus 25 upon 30 into 100, which is 16.67%. So remember this thing very carefully, like how we actually use these things. Because these things uh, generally use a lot of things in percentage. So as because already you have remembered like what is 1 upon 7 like this thing, 1 upon all of these things. So this thing we can use in a lot of like calculation techniques as well. Especially like uh, let's say if I need to find what is uh, 6 upon 11 let's say. So it is nothing but 6 into 9.09. So it's very easy to do that. It's like 54.54%. So if someone asks you uh, like what is uh, 7 is what percent of... Uh, let's say 9. So it is same as 7 into 11.11. That is 77.77%. Am I clear? And next is, uh, let's say, 8 is what percent of 9? So this is also, you can do it very fast. 8 into 11.11. And of course, with all these kind of things, we can do all of these sort of things like very fast by using all these techniques in a single thing. Let's say you need to find what is 13 upon 22. This is basically same as 11 upon 22 plus 1 upon, sorry, 2 upon 22. This is half 
this is 1 upon 11. So this is 50%. This is 9.09%. Now you can see how fast we can solve questions by using this 59.09%. Hence your answer. So this thing you can understand like how fast we can solve this question if you remember those things. So this is the base of percentage. We will see you in the next video. Tab we will take your leave and see you in the next video guys. Bye bye.